Hi everyone, my name is Clarissa and I'm coming to you, um, excuse the hair, uh, first of all, and excuse the quality of this video, don't be judging me, okay? Um, I'm not as high tech as you other folks in YouTube land, but anyways, I'm here to share with you my journey of making my very first L-shaped part wig. So, um, and I was inspired by Fabulosity Is Me and her um, YouTube channel. It's amazing. So check her out. Again, it's Fabulosity Is Me. And what I'm pretty much going to do is just walk you through, or rather you'll watch the step-by-step um, -step routine of how I um, made my L-shaped part wig and installing it and pretty much everything as such. So first off, um, let me explain the hair. <laughs> so my hair that I, the way I usually wear my hair is in its natural state, um, and I have about a 3C curl pattern. So what I've done last night is I straightened it, and then I went to sleep because all this hair and straightening it and or even blow drying it. Mm mm. So, I took a rest, I allowed my, my arm muscles to relax, and this morning I woke up and I um, decided to um, section off a little bit of what I'm going to leave out from my side edges as well as um, the top of my leave out, which is going to be um, to the side. And from there, um, I moisturized my scalp as I would when I have it in its uh, true natural state and what I used was um, extra virgin olive oil and that is um, what I use every two days when I seal my ends and I learned about sealing my ends from Urban Bush Babes check their channel out also or their website urbanbushbabes.com and um, just you'll if you're natural or transitioning, the perfect place to uh, check their workout. But anyways, so let's get to this video. As I informed you before, um, this is my first video, my first time making a wig, so I'm just a virgin at all of this. So excuse the video if it's too long, but bear with me and let's have some fun. Okay, so first things first is the hair that I bought. And I got two packs of hair, and I got a 14 inch and a 12 inch. And I got um, the Milky Way Remy Saga Yaki. I've never used this hair before, actually. I've only gotten about two sew-ins ever in my whole life. So um, it's also another experience of dabbling with all different types of hair. So, um, I'm excited to know like how this hair is going to work and blah blah blah. Next thing that I bought was a mannequin. This mannequin has delayed me so many times because of the head. I have a fairly round, I don't want to say big, but a fairly round shaped head and as you can see all this hair um, braided it's going to probably be a little bigger. So I was searching for the right mannequin to um, use that had my round shaped head. So I finally found one and this is what I'm going to put um, the weaving cap. And this is the weaving cap that I use. You can get it from um, your local beauty supply um, store. And pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the net and I'm going to um, put it on the doll and then from there, or mannequin, and I'm going to um, pretty much sew the tracks onto the net. And then um, from there, just go back and forth, back and forth. So in regards to um, the regimen that I have um learned about to wash the actual weave is I'm going to use Panty Pro V so I'm going to use the shampoo and the conditioner this is not what I use on a daily basis to wash 
my hair. I only wash my hair about once every three weeks. But I deep condition every week and I seal my ends every two weeks. Again, if you don't know what sealing your ends are, um, please visit Urban Bush Babes and their YouTube channel and you'll learn everything about sealing your ends. So from there, um, I haven't put a blow dryer or any kind of heat in my hair since October of 2011 and now it is March 2012. So this is my first time actually putting any type of heat in it um, and it has truly grown a lot. Um, I've been natural for about, it's almost going to be three years and basically I just allowed the relaxer to just grow out. I did not start over and cut my whole hair off um, and it's actually longer and stronger than ever before. So, um, let's get right to the video. Um, other things that I want to show you in regards to the products that I have, um, everyone needs a paddle brush. Whether you're using a weave or if your hair is natural, everyone needs a paddle brush. Then I have two rat tail combs that are heat resistant. Okay, and from there, I have my Frizz Ease John Frida. Um, this is pretty old, um, but it, I have it, and it works wonders on um, taking care of those flyaways. So that's what I'm going to put on my leave out. And then I have my um, hair cutter um, razor comb, and this is what I'm going to use when I um, pretty much like um, razor. Um, or cut my bangs just a little bit to give it more of a razor cut instead of a blood cut. And then I have my regular shears. And then I have this olive oil edge control. And I use this very sparingly. Um, I personally do not like it um, because it turns my hair white after a while and I don't even use that much. Um, again, if I want to slick my hair back or something, it's, it, it just turns white. So I'm going to try it again and just use a little, like even less of what I used to use. Just to hold on the edges, honey. And then again, um, I have my uh, Garnier Fructis um, Glistening Drops. And it's literally like a styling, um, excuse me, a, a serum to, you know, add shine. And you want to use this very sparingly. I've had this for about four years now. And it's still pretty much halfway full. And from there, um, I'm pretty much set. So, again, I've, I'm not sure on how I'm going to... Um, braid my hair or what pattern I'm going to use but I want to make sure that it's very easy. I'm not going to add any hair um, and from there I'm excited so enjoy this journey with me and let's get this wig together and I'll talk with you soon. Hi guys I'm back to show you pretty much um, my braiding pattern I did not have a precise braiding pattern. What I pretty much did was went with the flow on how I would install the um, wig when it was complete. So it's no set pattern. I can give you a quick look. And I'm going to turn around for you so you can see what I did with the end of my hair which pretty much I just looped around and I took the weaving thread and needle and I just um, wrapped it around in a circular motion so that I um, it wouldn't be a big bump in the back. So I'm going to turn around for you so you can see. And so now I am getting ready to install the hair onto the mannequin with the weaving cap. 
So I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everyone, this is my final look for my L-shaped part wig. Um, I'm just going to turn around so you can see. So, the hair is gorgeous. I love this Remy Saga. Of course, I'm not a weave head, so I don't know much about hair, but I love this hair. It blended very, very well with mine, as you can see. Um, the only thing I wish is that I had more of a leave out, and um, that's pretty much it. But I'm just going to play around with it. I'm sure that I am going to take it down and take um, my uh, braids out and get a little bit more of a leave out and then put it back on. So what I pretty much did for my edges was just use the edge control, olive oil edge control. And then I use just like, not even like, like a little pin drop of the Garnier Fructis, um Shine Control, or sorry, um, Glistening Drops, sorry. And then for the flyaways, again I use my John Frieda uh, Frizzies Secret Weapon Flawless Finishing Cream. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, what I, oh, my curls, duh. So, I spiral curled it, and then for the night, I just put in flexi rods because it's going to be a very, very long day, and usually I have long days, um, so I didn't want to keep putting that heat on there. So, again, take a look. And I am all set. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take out these braids and get a little more leave out. But then again, it is my first wig, so I'm pretty proud of myself. So you take care. Bye.